compete against a tremendous opponent. Um, you know, I think Coach Fickle, Coach Tressel, the history you know, speaks for itself on the quality of defense that they've always had, um, the tremendous challenge that it'll be for us um, in a very hostile environment and a super proud program um, that has great tradition, great history, and uh, great expectations. So uh, it'll be a great challenge for our group and looking forward to the opportunity. Fire away. Hey, Coach, start on the left side with Chase. I think when you were in Indiana, you were went to Wisconsin one time. I think at the end of the COVID year, can you just speak to the, the what you just mentioned, the hostile atmosphere, the crowd noise, etc.? Well, there were no there was no fans at the game uh, for that game. That's so, right. That's right. Yeah, I've been there a few times as a player too when I was um, when I was a player, and so um, I just think it's a program that loves football. Um, the fans are very passionate. It's a tremendous environment to play and compete in, you know, and uh, that's a credit to their fan base and uh, the pride that they have in that state for that program. And so um, it'll be a challenge for sure, and one we're uh, we're excited for. For the middle of the room, Emily Grace. Coach, as far as Jalen's presence in the pocket, what do you see that's working, and where do you want to see for a minute of week three? Well, I think he did uh, some nice things the other night as far as avoiding some rush and creating some plays, and I think there's other times where. Um, you know, we're looking for him to, to try to get the ball out of his hands, um, you know, when there's opportunities that, that present themselves that way. So, you know, I don't think any two plays are the same. You know, I think every um, situation, you know, you're just continuing to try to teach and point out, you know, opportunities to just stay away from some negative plays that way. And sometimes, you know, there's not much the quarterback can do. Um, but in the opportunities where we feel like, uh, maybe he could have made a different choice or decision. We just talked through that. You know, obviously these are split second decisions, and um, he's he's uh, he made a lot of great plays for us. And, and there's a couple where, hey, maybe if you got the ball out here, he threw the ball here, or um, whatever it may be. So that happens every game, um, and um, I think he's been receptive to that, and you know, acknowledges and recognizes you know each and every game opportunities for improvement. And um, I thought there was a lot of great moments for him, you know, in, in that regard in the game as well. Go left side, Steven. Coach, obviously he has the speed, but when you watch Jim Miller run with the power and the passion that he does, what does that bring the team, especially on that explosive run last week? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Jam is just a tough kid, you know, very competitive. Um, he's not the tallest player, but he's, you know, built, and um, he has power, and he has quickness, and he is a tough tackle. And so um, none of the things that have, have shown up in the first two games as a surprise to anybody in our building because he does it each and every day in practice. And so he's a great kid. He's tough. He's competitive. Um, extremely hard worker. Um, you know, we like Jim a lot. Front right side, Vic. Yeah, a lot of inconsist inconsistency going into the, the final quarter. The final quarter, in the last six minutes, some really good things that worked. What will he replicate in those final six minutes that will help you going forward? Well, I think just simple execution and fundamentals. You know, I think um, obviously we all know that you know we had some issues with some penalties and um, some lapses in execution, and that certainly hurt us in the first you know three quarters of the game. And um, I thought the guys did a better job, you know, of executing simple things well. And um, you know, we said we were explosive in the game. We just had a lot of those called back, and um, and so we needed just. Yeah, just to zero in on the details, the fundamentals, the execution. Um, you know, and there's a lot that goes into that, but I also think that's what, you know, what ended up hurting us was when we didn't focus on the small things, on the details, we didn't play with good fundamentals and technique, you know, we, we fouled and we, we had penalties. And so um, I thought they did a better job of that, obviously, you know, of just executing simple plays well, and, um, and they were helpful. Let's go to Mike in the middle here. Uh, what you see from Wilkin on film and just with the three holding penalties, that, is there a teaching point, a coaching point on that? Yeah, absolutely. I think in, in all those moments, you're trying to just teach and, and help a player improve. Um, you know, I think Wilkin cares a whole bunch, um, you know, wants to be as good as he can possibly be. And I think in some of those moments, it goes back to what we talked about. And it's not just specifically to him, it's for the whole group, you know, is, you know, if your fundamentals aren't right, if your eyes aren't in the right spot, you know, you can get out of position. I think that's what, you know, not just for him specifically, but our whole group, you know, it goes back to footwork, eye discipline, 
simple things to make sure that you're in the right position to make the play you know, the right way within the rules. And so um, that's what I would say to the whole group is just making sure that we're detailing the right details so that we can execute simple football well. And, uh, and as we all know, those are, you know, you're, you're a foot off or an inch off or the wrong hand placement away from, you know, not getting called for a penalty. And so um, those were, that's what we're focusing on, not just with Wilkin, but with the whole group. Go to the right, left side, sorry, Tony. Yeah, what have you seen from Hunter Wohler first? And then second of all, how much can you lean on Coach Hitch just having a familiarity with that secondary, especially the safeties unit? I have a ton of respect for him. I think he's a fantastic football player. And um, he's well coached. And I also think um, his instincts show up, you know, very productive. You know, for him to have the number of tackles that he had a year ago um, is impressive. And um, I have a ton of respect for him as a football player, the way he plays the game, the way he competes. Um, I think that's pretty evident and stands out on the film. And then Coach Hitch, you know, certainly there's there's uh, things that you ask, as you can imagine, you know, to try to just understand the scheme. What I would say is that, you know, every year is different for each team. Every group of players is slightly different. You know, their group that they have this year, um, there's a lot of returners, you know, specifically in the back end and the middle of their defense, but then there's some new pieces, um, you know, and, and we'll be ready to adjust depending on how they decide, you know, decide to play us. So, um, but certainly, yeah, there's, there's things that we're, you know, talking to Coach Hitch about um, relative to, you know, the way that they structure their defense or the calls or whatever that may be. So, um, yeah, he's a great sounding board that way and, and uh, he's helpful that way. Coach, can you speak on the challenges that the shuffling up front uh, gave to the offense, and then really what what y'all did to overcome the shuffling, and how how close was Elijah to starting in the game on Saturday? Well, we don't make any excuses. You know, the guys that are out there are starters, and their expectation is that they play well and uh, execute and do their job. And so we don't look for that. We don't you know allow anybody in the building to talk about the amount of shuffling. And I mean. The guys that are ready to practice, those that's who we practice with, and we prepare them to execute and do their job. And if they're out there on the field, they're capable of doing it. And so that's really where our focus is. Um, and you know, as far as availability of players and what that looked like throughout the week, you know, we just we decided to go with the group that had the most reps together. You know, and uh, moving forward, we'll do the same thing based on you know the health and availability of the group. We've got three questions left, so we'll start here with Alex. Right up here. Uh, the explosive plays have obviously been there, which I'm sure you like, but the short intermediate pass game, how would you like to see that kind of come along? I think, you know, I think the down in and down out execution needs to improve, and that's really been a focus for the group because um, I think we all can see the explosiveness and the ability to score quickly. Um, but, you know, I think um, us being able to stack plays consecutively together and execute and do your job down in and down out. You know, not just specifically to the short and intermediate pass, but to, in all areas. Um, that's certainly a point of emphasis this week and moving forward that, you know, we just stack good plays together. Um, and the explosive plays will come in addition to that. Trade down far left. Um, hey, Coach, uh, can you just speak about um, what the uh, offense, um, what's the offensive mindset this week heading in um, to the, with the, heading into Wisconsin after seeing uh, all the uh, – small mistakes and stuff like that. What will be your mindset in practice this week? Yeah, just as I mentioned, to make sure that we're detailing the right details and focus on execution. You know, that's really been, uh, that'll be the focus this week. And be excited about the opportunity to compete against a great opponent in a great environment. And um, looking forward to that challenge. And so that'll be the mindset. All right, we're going to finish up with Katie. What's going to be the emphasis on ball security after some of the fumbles in the first two games? Well, and, and I know Coach mentioned this in the post game. You know, we emphasize ball security each and every day in every drill. And uh, we certainly have periods of practice where we're specifically drilling it. Um, that won't change. You know, that's it's not like um, we understand the importance of it. Our players understand the importance of it. Um, you know, the, the things that came up in the game can't happen. And our guys know that. We know that. Um, so I wouldn't tell you that it would be an extra emphasis because it's always emphasized at a high level. And so this week will be no different. Um, and so we look to improve in that area. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Roll Tide.